Hi, this video will give you a general overview of how to use Canvas. The first thing you want to do is open the internet with Google Chrome. It is the internet browser that works best with Canvas. If you do not have Google Chrome on your computer, you can download it for free. Then you'll go to the website for Canvas, which is ghc.instructure.com. This takes you to the login page. For students, the login is your student ID number, and your password is the first six letters of your last name, and it explains it down below. My login will look different because I'm a teacher. When you get to your dashboard, you may have some messages the first time you log in. You'll have a list of activities. You'll see a to-do list of activities or assignments you have on the right, and then also things that are coming up in the future. You'll also see that uh, recent feedback, if your teacher gives you comments on any of your work, it will tell you that the comments are here for you to read. Over on the left are buttons for the dashboard where we are here. For courses, if you click on that, you get a list of your courses. The calendar, which will show due dates for your work. Inbox, which is an email system in Canvas. And your account. In the account, you can change your profile, or you can add a photo, or change your name. Settings and notifications. In settings, you can change or add a phone number or email address to get notifications or messages from Canvas. In notifications, there is a long list of things that Canvas can use to communicate with you. You can go in and decide which ones you want to get, how often. And then the most important thing here is log out. When you finish using Canvas, you'll come to account and click log out. You can switch your dashboard and have your classes listed here. So I'm going to click on the class and I'm just going to switch to student view. So this is what it will look like for students. You'll see that, again, you still have your to-do list of work you need to do and what's coming up in the future. There are also links for the library. You can ask for help from a librarian online, and you can also get help for Canvas. Over on the left, you still have your buttons for the dashboard, courses, calendar, inbox, and account. And then you also have a list of um, buttons that you'll need to navigate the course. If the screen is smaller, you will not see that list. You will see three lines, and if you click on that list, or on the lines, then you get the list that you'll need to use. So, Home will take you to the home page of your class. Modules is where all of your work is. Grades, you can check your grades at any time and people gives you a list of other people in your class and if you want to communicate with them. So we'll go to modules. This is where you have a list of all the work or information for your class. With a module, if you are not working in a module, you can close it and you can open it again at any time. So you can open and close it. Each module has a title. Then in the module will be the activities. It may be reading, videos, quizzes, discussions, assignments. And you will just click to go to that page. When you're on a page, you can click the Next button to go to the next page. And you can click the Previous button to go back. You can always go back to modules to see the whole list of modules.
you'll see um, pages which will have information but nothing for you to do, although there may be a video to watch. This box shows that it's a discussion where you'll need to post your answer to a question. A cue shows that it's a quiz, and so it's some, a small test or longer test. And again, when you're finished using Canvas, you click on Account and click Log Out. If you have any questions, just be sure to ask your teacher or ask the e-learning person to help you with it.